Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video is going to consider uh, Boolean reductions and more importantly when you've been provided with a Boolean ex expression and you want to reduce it into its simplest form uh, the word we usually use is simplification okay, or reductions okay. So the Boolean expression that we're going to deal with today looks pretty complicated looking, yeah. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do this in a number of stages and a number of passes over the Boolean expression, applying our identities that we have defined in one of our previous videos. So we'll apply our identities, and hopefully, what we'll what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to reduce this expression down into its simplest form. Okay. The first thing I like to do uh, when I when I'm dealing with these particular when I'm dealing with these types of expressions is the first couple of passes are just sort of tidying up passes, yeah, okay, uh, passes that allow us to distribute terms across 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 ors, okay, uh, passes that allow us to break bars and flip the signs, apply the Morgan's laws, okay. Uh, so just these couple of passes and then we apply the commutative laws and the associative laws so that we can order terms from A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar, so on and so forth. So what I'll do is, let me just apply what I would normally do in this particular instance, yeah, is, uh, well the first thing that I can actually see here is I have a couple of bars that are over ors. Okay, uh, we have a bar that's that's I suppose that's stretching across an OR here, and we have a bar that's stretching across an OR here. So what I think I will do first of all, and this is usually what I do, is I'll apply the Morgan's law, and we know that the Morgan's law says to us, okay, that's what I've called identity sixteen, that when we have a bar across an operation and where the operation is an OR, that that's equivalent to the negation of the two operands and it together. In other words, break the bar, flip the sign. We break the bar, we end up with A bar, B bar, okay, and we flip the OR to an AND, so we end up with an AND. So that's what I'm going to do first. So when I apply that particular concept across here, the bar here breaks and the OR will flip to an AND, so this becomes A bar ANDed with B bar bar, okay, and that needs to be ANDed against this term here, okay, which is a bar or C. And then over here we have or C bar. And I'm going to once again, I'm going to apply the Morgan's law here. I'm going to break the bar, the negation, and I'm going to flip the or to an and. So this becomes A bar, B bar, and it together. And there's nothing I want to do here, so let me just leave it like that A bar, B bar, or C bar. Okay? So that's my first pass where possible convert ors. To have a negation over them into ands, yeah, which is the application of the Morgan's law. Okay, brilliant. And now what I'll typically do is I'll apply the distributive law. Okay, and we know that the distributive law says that when you have a term anded with an oring of two terms, that this is like multiplying out the brackets, that that's equivalent to the left term anded with the first operand within within the bracket. Okay. Okay, there we go. A times B gives me AB. Uh, ORed with the term ANDED with the second operand. So we have this particular structure. We'll go to this structure here. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do here. So we have a whole term here okay, that we're going to multiply on, or we're going to distribute across the A bar and also the C. So this part of the term here will become A bar ANDED with B bar bar ANDED with A bar. Okay? Or it'll become a bar anded with b bar bar, okay, anded with c, okay. So what we've done here is that this left hand, uh, I suppose, term has been distributed across both of these terms, okay, to give us this structure here. And then we have an or, and we do the same thing again. We have c bar times a bar times b bar. Okay. And then we do the same thing here. We have an OR and it's A bar times B bar or A bar times
times c bar so this is like your your typical algebra that you've that you've seen before many times but where you're dealing with maybe maybe the rationals or or the integers or you're dealing with the real numbers and you have operations of plus and multiplication so on and so forth but this time we have to keep in mind that our operations are anding logical ands and logical ors and negations okay uh, so now that I have done this, what I'll do now is I'll apply the commutative and the associative law. Okay, so when I have a, I suppose when we have a conjunction of of individual, I suppose terms, uh, what we can actually do is we can associate together, uh, and then we can, I suppose, what we can do is we can commute them. Okay, and that's going to allow me to order the terms. Okay, from a a bar. B, B bar, and so on. So actually, I can associate these two terms here together. Okay, the B bar, let me just actually write this down over here. Uh, a bar, B bar, bar, and A bar. Uh, that's equivalence to A bar, and with B bar, bar, and with A bar. See where I'm associating the B bar and the A bar together? And then what I can do is I can commute them. So that's equivalence to A bar, A bar, B bar, bar. And see what we have now is we have them in order okay so we can do that okay so what we're going to do this becomes a bar a bar b bar bar this is in order so this we leave this the way it is a b bar bar c this is not in order so we can put it in order it's a bar b bar c bar don't forget we're relying on the associative law and we're also relying on the commutative law and this becomes a bar b bar and this remains as a bar c bar okay now what we'll do is we'll try to apply some other uh, straightforward identities you can see that we have b bar bar here and we have b bar bar here and we know double negation okay double negation says that when you have a negation negated it's equivalent to losing the negation this is called double negation yeah so this term here now reduces down to a bar a bar b this term here reduces down to a bar b c and all of our terms remain the same a bar b bar c bar or a bar b bar or a bar c bar okay now what we do is we look within our terms to see can we find anything else that we can simplify okay some other important identities okay are i suppose when you have a term anded with itself or a term ordered itself is simply the 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 individual term itself okay so we have a anded with a is a and we have a ordered with a is a so and we can see this here okay? here what we have is we have a bar anded with a bar well that's just equivalent to a bar so this becomes a bar b and actually just keep in mind that we've actually applied the associative law to associate the two a bars together and then we've reduced it down there's nothing else we can do here so let's leave it as is a bar b c and here let's leave it as is this is a bar b bar c bar and this becomes or a bar b bar or a bar c bar okay so at this stage we've i suppose at this stage we've uh, applied most of our our simpler rules yeah uh, usually where I where I go to now is after I've applied like the Morgans and the distributive laws and I've got rid of the the a and with a's and the a ors with a's or the a or with zeros or the a or with ones I start to look for commonality across terms okay now I'm just going to take this term here and just come over to the to the right hand side okay this term or with this term there's an a bar b here and there's an a bar b here but there is there's two 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 things in common so I'm just going to write it down again a bar b or with a bar b and with c okay now what i can do and this is sort of important in this yeah because i want to remove the commonality yeah but when i remove the commonality i want to see what's left behind okay and now it's hard to see what's left behind the common term here is a bar a bar b when I remove it here, I'm left with a C. But when I remove it here, what am I left with? Yeah. Hmm. Am I left with nothing or am I left with something? So let's actually try to modify this. There's three terms over here. Three operands, yeah, okay? And there's only two here. So let's try to put in another one. And we can do that. We can do what's known as an introduction, okay? Uh, so what we have is, if we have a term, 
we can always and that term with one. It's making it a little bit more complicated. It's introducing two things where we only had one, but we can always do that. So let's do that. And this is an important step here. So this term here, I can always introduce a one. Okay, so this becomes a bar b ended with one, or a bar b ended with c. Now this is an important maneuver that we've after, that we're after making here. Now I can see what's common. There's an a bar b here, so let's take out the commonality, a bar b, and what's left behind? Well, what's left behind here when I remove a bar b is one, and what's left behind here when I remove a bar b is a c. Okay, so this term here goes to well it's a bar b bar 1 or a bar b c or a b c or a bar b bar or a bar c bar okay what's common is the a bar b let's take it out that's a bar b ended with 1 or c these two terms uh, you probably see we could do the same thing here. There's, there's an A bar and a C bar here, and there's an A bar and a C bar here, or we could say there's an A bar and a B bar here, and there's an A bar and a B bar here. But we probably need to introduce the one as well, okay? Uh, so what we could have done here is we could have introduced the one from this step here down. So let's do that from here to here. We'll introduce a one here, okay? It's the exact same logic that we've done over here. And now there's commonality. So here is its or. What's common here is an A bar, a B bar, ended with a c bar okay and what's left behind here is a one or an a bar and a c bar so now i'm starting to do multiple applications in the same line okay now we've got something nice here you can see here well we've defined an identity anytime you anytime you or a one with something we get a one now what's important here is that this particular this particular i suppose term or upper hand is on the left hand side. The A is on the left hand side of the OR and the 1 is on the right hand side. And that's what we've defined that to be. In this in this way it's equal to 1. But the commutative law, okay, the commutative law says that we can flip them around. So actually this would be the same as 1 or A is equal to 1. So we can we can we can rely on that as well. So actually what we know is what we get here is this is A bar B ended with 1 and this is or A bar B bar ended with one, okay, that becomes one, uh, or A bar C bar. Uh, now, B ended with one is just itself, so this is A bar B, or A bar B bar, or A bar C bar, okay? This just goes, I'm actually eliminating the one now, okay, where I've introduced it, I'm now throwing it away. What's common between these two terms is an A bar, we take it out, this becomes an A bar times a B or a B bar, okay, or an A bar C bar, okay. Well, we have an identity, okay, and uh, we know that anything ordered with its negation is equal to 1. So this term here goes to a 1, so this becomes A bar ended with 1 or A bar ended with C bar. What's common between these two terms? Okay, and I'm moving over here now. Okay. Okay. What's common between these two terms is an A bar. So this is an A bar and with what's left behind is a one. And what's left behind here is or a C bar. Okay. And I suppose anything ordered with one, okay, anything ordered with one is simply equal to one. Okay, now once again we'll rely on the commutative law. That would be C bar ordered with one, which allows us to apply identity two. Uh, so this becomes a bar ended with 1, which is equivalent to a a bar, okay? And that's that's our solution here, okay? Uh, so I know that was quite uh, a complicated Boolean expression, okay? But hopefully what we've done is we've demystified what's going on under the scene, uh, sorry, under the hood. Uh, and all we've relied upon at each step is some simple applications okay, of what we had previously of our 17 identities. Okay? Uh, so guys, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that video uh, was helpful. Okay.